Welcome back, any and all. Glad you all can make it back to another glorious day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. If you haven't given Father God thanks, make sure that you give Him all honor, praise, and glory because it belonged to Him and only Him. He woke us up this morning. We are truly blessed. Some didn't open their eyes. Let us give Him thanks, give Him praise, give Him honor. All the glory belong to Him and only Him. I love you all with the love of the Lord. And Father God loves you more. Let us get right into prayer. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Come, thank, we come to you, Father God, to say thank you for any and all that you do have done and will do. We come to you to say thank you for your grace and mercy. If not for your grace and mercy, we would not be here. We come to you, Father God, to say thank you. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning. We have not promised anything, and we don't know if we're going to make it through the rest of the day. But for the time that we have, every being in us, every breath in us that you give us, Father God, to give you thanks, we say thanks. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you glory because it belongs to you and only you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we say thank you, Father. Father God, we know there's none like you. You're holy in all your ways. Your works are wondrous, so the works that you do for the children of men. And we say thank you, my Father. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we, we plead the blood of Jesus of all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loving them, friends. We ask a head of protection. Actually, a firewall of protection around all the listeners, all those in the body of Christ, all our family members, loving them, friends. And Father God, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you please bless all the listeners, bless all those in the body of Christ. All our family members, lovers, and friends. And we know no weapons formed against us shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, we thank you for your outstretched storm. We thank you for you being a holy, pure, righteous, knowing no sin, just God, the one and only true God, faithful and true is thy name. Glory be to God. Father God, we know that you have the victory. The victory is already won. It's only a matter of time. It is your will, your way, your timing. And you and us and we and you, we have the victory. You and us and we and you, there ain't nothing we can't do. And you and us, you strengthen us, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, as we go through this day, help us and guide us in everything that we do and that we say. Help our hearts to be pure, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we ask that you please purify our hearts, Lord God. Please, Father God. Remove all spirit of unforgiveness from us, Father God, and fill us with your Holy Spirit so that we love with unconditional love as you love us. Father God, I love all my neighbors as I love myself, and we love uh, any and all, even though we, we can agree to disagree, but we must have love because you are love, my Father. Thank you, Father God, for teaching us how to be the spouses to our spouse. We, we love them, Father God, and we be faithful and true to our spouses as well. As we are faithful and true to you, my Father, we must be faithful and true to you. Have reverence for you for any and everything that we say and do. We thank you, my Father. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all who come to the truth before it's too late that they give their life to you. And if they fall in the way for whatever reason, may they repent and turn from their wicked ways and receive you into their life to be their Lord and Savior. We pray for our president and all our leaders that they lean not to their own understanding but acknowledge you in all thine ways so that you may direct their paths and that they be obedient and do your will. And that doesn't just apply to the president and all our leaders, it applies to each and every one of us. May we take heed. Holiness only, nothing else matters in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nothing else matters. There are no excuses, and there's absolutely no compromising. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all the laws of abortion to be aborted right here, right now, that they don't get to take another innocent baby's life. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, for all the safe havens to be built, and all the provisions be made for them to be built. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for all that are truly seeking your faith, that are continuing their ministry, preaching the gospel, preaching the boldly, and not being ashamed. Because we're not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. What is the power of God unto salvation? To everyone that believe it, to the Jews first and also to the Greeks. And we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray for any and all that are truly seeking your face, Lord God, that all provisions be made for them to continue in their ministry, preaching the gospel, preaching it boldly. And also, Father God, that they have need of nothing. And you bless them, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so they continue blessing others. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, so we pray. We pray, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Evil's running so rampant. And we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, that you, that you do come. Do come, Lord Jesus. We call on you, Lord Jesus. Do come. Don't know, man, know the day or the hour, but we know you're coming back. And you're coming back for a spotless, blameless, and unblemished bride. May we all be ready, Lord God. May we all be ready and count it worthy at your coming to be caught up in that rapture moment, change in a twinkle of an eye to that glorious body, fight that good fight of faith, reign with you, and live with you to eternity. We live here, but we're not up here. We have a home. Our home's in the heavenly kingdom with our heavenly Father, and our vessels are holy, because our Father which are in heaven is holy. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as you do what you must do, because we know evil running rampant, that you do have your way, Lord God. Let your let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And Father God, we ask that you please remember your children. Have mercy on us, Lord God. Please have mercy on your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, we know that your word will forever stand and will not come back void. Because of everything that you say and do is for our own good. But we know, Father God, your word. Is what matters, not what we think and not what we feel. Your word. And may your word be, may your word stand still as it always does, and it will come to pass. As you said, Father God, for all the treasure that is stored up by the wicked, that they be given to the poor, 
And to those whom you say for to go to, we say thank you, Father God. And we believe it and receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, any that receive a blessing, because all good things come from one high. We pray that any that receive a blessing, that they be obedient and do your will with that blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Father God, may we all stand up for holiness and holiness only. Nothing else matters. Let us stand on that path of righteousness for your name's sake. Let us all be holy, courageous men, women, and children of God. Let all men be holy, courageous men of God, being ahead of their homes, heading that family in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. For thou art with us, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Thou preparest the table before us in the presence of thine enemies. Thou anoint thy head with oil, thy cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, let us now stop there. If you haven't given your life to the Lord. And Father God, we can never say enough thank you. We're grateful to you and for you. We're grateful for any and everything that you do have done and will do. We love you. We honor you. We praise you. We worship you. We exalt you. God bless you, Father God. We praise thy holy name. You're worthy to be praised each and every day all day. We glorify thy holy name to God be all the honor, praise, and glory. Everything I do, Father God, everything of us belongs to you and only you. And we say use this for your glory and your glory alone. Everything I do is for your glory and your glory alone. And you're greatly to be praised, by the way, Father God. And we seal this prayer to you, my Father. We love you with an everlasting love and will never forsake thee. And we seal this prayer to you, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, with a holy kiss. And it's in the holy, precious, mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen and hallelujah. Well, let us now stop there. If you haven't given your life to Christ, you have the opportunity to do so right here, right now. Have you heard the good news? The good news is Jesus Christ. He's coming back, and he's coming back sooner than you think. No, no man, no the day or the hour except the Father. He's coming back for a spotless, blameless, unblemished bride. And if you are ready to do what is right and receive Jesus Christ into your life to be your Lord and Savior, then please say this prayer. And don't just say it. Mean it from your heart that you're going to seek him in sincerity and truth with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And please say this prayer. I pray to you, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I am sorry. And please forgive me for my sins against your word. I believe you died on the cross and shed your holy sinless blood and was risen from the dead three days later after being crucified. Help me to seek eternal life, live a life of holiness, a life pleasing and acceptable to you. Help me to study your word and obey it and repent daily. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Now, please repent for your sins. That means you're going to turn from your wicked ways. You're going to strive for holiness and holiness only. And you're not to sin on purpose. And you ought to be baptized down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations and God bless you in your walk with Christ. And remember this. It is not a religion. It's a personal relationship between you and the Lord thy God, a commitment and love. We in the body of Christ, we welcome you. Welcome, my new brother and sister, to the body of Christ. Uh, may we edify one another. Pray with and pray for one another. Pray without ceasing. Fast. Bear one another's burdens. Give love and charity because they cover a multitude of sin. We welcome you, my new brother and sister, to the body of Christ. We love you. And Father God loves you more. Congratulations and God bless you. May we all pick up the word today. Every day, pick up the Bible, read it. It's God's word, and that's how he speaks through you. That's how you'll hear from him. You must read his word, okay? I love you all with the love of the Lord, and Father God loves you more. Let's go right into scripture. And today, Father God has given me Acts chapters 11 to 13. Actually, it was for yesterday, but for whatever reason, hallelujah, two days in a row I wasn't able to get online. But that's all right. We shall prevail, hallelujah. Those that endure to the end. Shall be saved. Hallelujah. Okay. The Acts chapter 11. And the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. And when Peter was come up to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision contended with him, saying, Thou wentest in to men uncircumcised, and didst eat with them. But Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning, and expounded it by order unto them, saying, I was in the city of Joppa, praying, and in a trance I saw a vision, a certain vessel descend as it had been a great sheet, laid down from heaven by four corners, and it came even to me. 
upon the which when I had fastened mine eyes, I considered, and saw a four-footed beast of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay and eat. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean hath at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What God hath cleansed, that call not thou common. And this was done three times, and all were drawn up again into heaven. And behold, immediately there were three men already come unto the house where I was, sent from Caesarea unto me. And the Spirit bade me go with them, nothing doubting. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house. And he shewed us how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send man to Joppa, and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter, who shall tell thee words, whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved. And as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them, as on us at the beginning. Then remembered I the word of the Lord, how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Forasmuch then as God gave them the like gift as he did unto us, 